Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you why our community is so divided and the seeds of dissent that have un the underlying seeds of dissent and why we can never be friends. Why Tularian and Wedge will always dislike MTG headquarters, why MTG headquarters will always dislike them. It has to do with this conversation. I have been spending a lot of time trying to split the conversation, but every time I take a piece, another piece kind of, you need the context. You need to listen to it 100%. I can't split the pieces because they don't make sense and it would be very biased and quite dishonest for me to do that. So if you don't want my commentary on it and you don't, you just want to listen to audio, go to the very end. The next time you see this saber and a bunch of sabers, that's just the pure audio. This video is probably not going to be monetized because even if I try, they wouldn't allow me because there's a lot of swearing. So for little kids, uh, you probably don't want to watch this video. There's a lot of swearing, a lot of cursing, and a lot of bad words in this video. So let's introduce the main characters in the video. We begin with two characters. We begin with Darium and we begin with MTG McQuack. So Darium, who's Darium? Darium is the inventor of Car Shop Life. And he does mention one of his employees, Meg. And at previously to making a video about Game Finder, which is MTG Headquarters app, I've gone over Game Finder in great detail. But to summarize, MTG Headquarters crowdfunded an app that will allow you to find other Magic players nearby. Now, the key is they need a ton of Magic players. So if the nearest Magic player with Game Finder app is 50 miles away, no one's going to use Game Finder app. So it has to be promoted heavily. No one promoted it. I promoted Game Finder two times and I was paid one time and then I used the money to buy a Game Finder playmat. That's what I used the money. But MTG headquarters was Jeremy or Unsleeved Media, whatever you want to call him now. He was very upset that people were not promoting his app because again he has to hit a certain amount of players have to use it before it becomes viable otherwise it's not going to work so he goes on a rant at this time wedge is actively trying to make sure game finder fails and we can go over how he does this in another video mtg mcquax is wedge's most loyal friend he is loyal to the core and he makes a very compelling argument in the audio. He makes a compelling argument that Darium should not have made a video on Game Finder supporting MTG headquarters because of friendship. And he does believe this and that's what makes MTG McQuacks MTG McQuacks. And all of this drama is about friendship versus business. It's about decisions for money versus decisions based on clicks and groups and private groups. So I was not part of this, but the audio was leaked. And this shows you how people actually behave when no, they don't believe anyone's watching. So I've always said this, it's very easy for you to present yourself professionally for 10, 15 minutes of video. You can edit the video, you can script the video, you can add graphics to the video, you can make yourself look like whatever you want for those 10 minutes a week. It's another thing when you don't, when you talk in private. And this is what this, this video is. It shows you who people are truly, who they actually are. And McQuacks comes off as a very loyal guy. Now I have fought, I have had my fights with McQuacks at, in the past. But I think he's a, he's a respectable guy. I definitely respect him. So Jeremy is not on this phone call because this phone call is pretty much attacking Jeremy. It's asking a simple question. How dare you, Dariums, make this Game Finder video? And Dariums responds, it's a business decision. I made a business decision. I made a video for MTG headquarters. He made a video for my uh, monthly crate. We both benefited from it. Why would you mess with my business? And at this point, Wedge kind of goes berserk. 
you might ask, what is going on? I mean, why, why does Wedge want GameFinder to do poorly? Well, at this time, there's play mats, there's monthly magic boxes, secret trades just coming around. There's a lot of money to be made. Previous to this time, even the monthly magic box, Tolarian wasn't paid to make those eight videos promoting it. How much would it cost for my monthly magic box to be on Tolarian's channel eight times? I mean, take a guess, right? I actually know the number. The number is $5,000. And this number is mentioned by MTG McQuacks he says, hey, hey, Darium, you made a bad business decision because Tolarian gave you $5,000 and MTG headquarters will only give you 1000 or less. You should have stuck with Tolarian. Do you believe Tolarian does not know this? And Weds, when Darium says, I didn't know that, Tolarian never told me that. Tolarian, in this case, his name is Brian. So most people who have listened to this audio have no idea how critical Tolarian's part in this whole drama is. He is the $5,000 per video guy. And Wedge says, Darian asks, I've never, I haven't talked to Tolarian. I don't know. Like, I, this is news to me. And Wedge says, he's out. Brian is out. Tolarian Community College is out. So Weds is speaking for Tolarian Community College because they've always been united. They've always made the same decisions time and time again. It's not surprising when Weds makes his Pico Trade video that Tolarian, who ha has historically said that he takes longer to make his video because the production is higher, his video came out the next day. Do you believe this is not organized? Based on Tolarian's own assessment of how long it takes for him to make a video, edit it, something like that about Puker Trade should have took more than a day. So for them to go back to back, kind of suspect, right? So Wedge, in this case, the key important part is Wedge is speaking on Brian's behalf. Brian is Tolarian Community College. Most people, when they listen to this audio, have no idea how Tolarian's involved in it, but he is the centerpiece because he, if he makes a video about you and your product, it's worth $5,000. That's how much it was worth to Dariums. That's how much it is worth for the monthly magic box. Whenever Tolarian makes a mon monthly magic box video, I thought he was getting paid for it, which was a mistake. He was only receiving a free box, but he could have been paid because he was generating so much revenue, end user revenue, subscribers. Some of uh, Tolarian's subscribers are still paying for the monthly magic box, and I have screenshots of that too. So I didn't make this drama channel without first securing the screenshots, right? So, Weds is angry at Darium's, very, very angry. And he's angry, I believe, for the wrong reasons. He's angry because, in his view, Dariums, by making that video on GameFinder for, for MTG headquarters, Jeremy on Sleeve Meter, whatever he's calling himself nowadays, his Twitter handle seriously like changes like every day. He has isolated him. They want to isolate Jeremy. They want to form a clique. They want Dariums, Tolarian, McQuacks, and they want to get a bunch. They have their own private Facebook group at this time. I believe Rogue Deck Builder says he was part of it. I was not part of it. And this private Facebook group does not like Jeremy. Tolarian's part of this. Brian. Remember, his first name is Brian. That is the most critical word in this whole audio because they say Brian is out. Wedge says that. Brian is not on this audio, but Wedge is talking for Brian. And that is what the relationship is. It's almost like the same person. The Puker Trade video kind of proved it to me that they must have collaborated in some in such a way that one video comes one day and the very next video comes the next day and they both say the exact same thing about Puker Trade. A little late in my opinion, but you know, that's just my opinion. So let's talk about Brian and what he brings to this whole thing. 
At that time, he was growing as fast as Rudy Alpha Investments is growing now. So he was going to, everyone knew he would surpass MTG headquarters as the largest YouTube channel. Brian knew this as well. Brian knows how much value he brings. Because Weds knew what the value was. McQuacks knew what the value was. So Brian knows what the value is. Tolarian Community College and Weds, at this point in time, form an alliance against GameFinder, which is MTG headquarters. And they're making people choose sides. That's it. That's the key. Do you get it? Let me, I'll, I'll repeat this again. If you're not with them, you're against them. So instead of being one happy big community, you have to pick sides. If you're not with me, Weds, you're not with me, Tolarian, you're against me. You are against me. And that is why we have the drama today. It's quite simple. And I hope that you will take the time to listen to audio. It's not going, this is not going to be monetized. Don't worry about it. Not going to make any money from it. This is probably be the one video a day. And I sat there trying to break down the audio and then I just couldn't do it in an honest way to represent what it actually is. So again, Darium's McQuacks, they talk. Wedge joins in later, just randomly. So Wedge is the third voice, and that's very important to understand. So McQuacks is anti-HQ. Dariums is confused why people are not, why he can't make a business decision as a Magic the Gathering shop. He's the only one who owns a shop at this time. And then Wedge joins. They talk about Brian, which is Tolarian Community College. They talk about GameFinder. They briefly mention me and Adjamin. Lion would be me. And they mention the, the whole village burning down, which is semi-exaggeration, but also kind of true. And that is why we can never be friends. None of us can be friends with each other. It was, you're either with us, or you're against us. Okay, you're not with us, you are against us. So I'm sure most of us have had that relationship in our lives where uh, an individual, instead of being uh, have showing empathy, has decided to force you to choose what you, your side. Choose a side. And if you don't choose my side, Guess what? So the next part is going to be a saber, a bunch of sabers and the actual audio recording. I hope that you guys listen to it because it's the first and only time that you can hear who people actually are. It's different. It's so different when you know you're being recorded, you have a script, you're taking several days to make the video, maybe a whole month to make one video. And when you're just talking, I'm sure that you guys are going to find that your favorite YouTubers are not who you believe they are. Anyway, so without further ado, let's saber it up. And that's why I said something is going to get public eventually about it. And it was like a bunch of bullshit. It's like, can't we just be fucking adults and solve this shit? Okay, you, you know you know what an adult doesn't do? An adult doesn't go on a little fucking bitch-ass rant publicly throwing everyone under the bus and then the next day want to smooth things over with the person he's attacked over and over again. That's not I, something an adult does. Dude, if it comes down to a fact if he attacks Wedge and brings it... We have talked about that time and time again that we're ready to go to war if it comes to that, but we all were under the agreement that HQ's little rant was the worst thing he could do to himself. All we had to do was just sit back. So if he wants to attack and finally make his last hurrah, then so be it. But we're not going to go on the offensive because no matter what, like I told you on our conversation when it happened with Adjaman and Lion, no matter what, you look like a bitch. You don't look good. I mean, yeah, when you attack is, somebody... We're dealing with a different situation. Do you think Wedge is really strong enough being face-to-face -face with fans in a place and this shit happens there? What shit would happen? If he decides to do anything 
or come out and say the reason why he's not at the convention during the convention? Do you really think Wedge's fucking resolve would be able to stay intact during that? If it wasn't, we'll deal with that when it happens. Like, I don't think that's really worth worrying about because, I mean, if in all honesty, if shit comes out now and the con still happens, like, people will probably bring shit up months from now. Like, doesn't matter when the attack happens, I'm sure shit will happen at the con. Like, it... I don't think that really matters. We can deal with that when it does happen, dude. I mean, it's just eight, I don't care if HQ lies or not. I don't care. Like, I will put... If it comes down to a thing where he's saying Wedge won't let him go, I will make a video saying it's not Wedge, it's me. Fuck HQ. I don't care. Like, I can direct shit away from Wedge if that's what happens. But never got to that point. Because we just let it go. Like, HQ might do his last hurrah while he tries to get GameFinder up and running, which, if we could all get a slight clap, it did make its funding, so go team. But, I mean, that's... That's in the future. Could have dealt with that when it happened. And you really think Wedge would be able to? I can't speak for Wedge, I don't know, and I don't know if Wedge could actually say himself, but that's... It's a guy that literally two minutes ago wanted to leave the conversation because he couldn't handle having the conversation behind a fucking monitor right now. Okay. So you can't handle confrontation. If HQ does... So Worst case scenario, we're doing I the wanted to leave the conversation. Nothing to do with social anxiety, but more to do with the fact that this isn't going to go anywhere. Oh, it's fucking going somewhere. It's not. Well, you don't make my fucking choices anymore, Wedge. On the bright side, Nicole got her ticket refunded, so good team. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you don't want to have a conversation, then I'll just speak fucking openly. This is what it directly comes down to, Wedge. Is the fact is, whatever. You guys can be fucking pissed off at me for making a business decision, which is a smart fucking business decision that I think Kevin, anyone would make. Hold on. What? Stop. Not a smart decision. You fucked over Wedge. And you screwed over Brian, dude. If you honestly think that HQ has enough pull to make up for the potential pull of Brian and Wedge, horrible business decision. Horrible. Sorry, I'm just going to throw that out there. Okay, well... <laughs> like, I'm glad for you that you got your bump from Brian, but that's done, dude. That's, like, that's done. Your $1,000 from HQ isn't the close to 5000 that Brian got you. Not even close. Okay, well, he never fucking approached me about that. He's out. Well, if you guys... I don't know. And that's the thing, like I said. If you guys have your your disagreements and petty whatever the hell, and they're going to affect, like, how I make my business, that's pretty fucking bullshit. That's pretty bullshit. That's, like, anything... If Wedge with the playmats or something, if I'm like, well, I don't like Nicole, so if you do this, I'm gonna fuck you. And you're like, dude, I'm just trying to sell fucking playmats here. And I'm like, no... I'm dragging you into my political game here, dude. I'm going to call the shots. You're going to be like, dude, dude, I'm the one doing this, man. And that's what I'm saying. You guys are fair to do whatever you want and be pissy about whatever the fuck you want. But the thing is, is I get to at least state my fucking opinion. That's the fair thing, at least. That's fine. State away. So We're not saying you can't. When it comes to all of that, whatever. It'd make a smart business decision, at least I felt. So whatever. If you guys don't want to support it, then... Fucking don't. Whatever. That's that's your prerogative. So that covers that. And that's why, as I said, I'm just like, well, you didn't care we appeared in his channel before. And you apparently have no animosity towards, like, Meg. So I don't know why the the pendulum weighed heavier on me. Whatever. A lot happened that. between them. Not with me, it didn't. On my end and on my side with HQ, a lot got better. Because I was actively hating that fucking guy at that time. Meg was actively fucking hating that guy at that time. We just shut the fuck up and did it because it was good for business. So we did it. But things have gotten better with that for us. He posted a side. Facebook post calling out most of the magic community in a very negative way. It split subscribers. It was a bad idea. And the community at large was hurt by it. You can go read the topic in the group. It was there. Everyone was hurt. Everyone. And... It was clear that at that point, HQ no longer cared about the community at all. To turn around, 
the day after and make something supporting him when he just went against everybody hurt everybody. Who did it hurt? Everyone. Everyone's upset about it. Who? Dude, name one. Other than your pride, what's fucking hurt? I don't have pride. Pride's then what damage a waste of time. Define hurt. It's not gonna matter. No, I'm asking you. Did it's people futile. lose subscribers? Did people lose money? What? I'm asking you to define it. What do you mean? Is what I'm saying. Okay, I don't. I wouldn't say pride, but feelings and friendship, if you want to tie that to pride, is one thing. But at the bare bones of the situation, dude, a public attack happened, and someone, everyone knows that we're friends together, and then you publicly support him. Like, it's just fucked up. Like, not everything is a business decision, man. Like, there's, there's no friendship. Like... The, you know the emotional toll that HQ has put on Wedge. Like, I would have respected you saying, fuck Wedge, I'm attacking HQ so much more than just supporting HQ. So much more. If you're going to take one of those avenues. Like, it's just... I, I'm, I'm trying to find a logic there. That truly just like justifies not being able to see that these are like nemesis, whatever the fuck. Like they hate each other. Absolutely. I get that. They hate each other. Wedge didn't appear on his channel. He didn't appear on Wedge's channel. Okay. I'm not your fucking recruit or anything. Didn't say you were. I'm just saying when you step back. Fuck the channel, fuck everything else, look at your friend. Look at the dude who's attacked your friend. Make the decision not to do anything. I don't care about your business, I don't care about your channel, I don't care about any of that shit. Straight up just friendship, man. That's this is like, why... whole, this is a fucking year of spending time talking to each other, getting to know each other and everything else. And the fact that you can't see that this was a bad decision as a friend is horrible, dude. As a like friend, that, sure. I never fucking denied that. So you're fine with it being a shitty move as a friend? You're fine with $1,000 being better than being a friend? For something that I couldn't do anything about? That I tried right. to have something fucking be resolved about it? So we wouldn't have to deal with this petty shit anymore? You could have, like I said at the beginning of this conversation, you could have just said, leave me out of it, guys. You would have been out. You weren't really included that much in the conversations, as far as I can remember. We didn't talk about it all that much. Well, apparently I'm included into the core of it, because apparently if I do something that might involve him, I'm still held to that standards. You were held to the standard that everyone was after HQ made the post that he made. Nobody so made a Game Finder video after that, so you besides you. Demanded people take sides, is that what you're saying? There's I no don't have to demand was... anything. No, he's he's redirecting. You don't have to demand anything. No one demanded anything. It was an obvious, logical decision that when somebody decides to go and try to burn down the village, you don't support them after they try to burn down the village. That's what you did. No one else did a video after that. And the reason I say this conversation is futile is because... That fact is simple, but you're not going to see it that way. And there's nothing that can be done about that. And I... No words can get through, so... Besides to say that what you did surprised everybody, and no one agreed with it. That's fine. So, but the thing is, is, all right, you don't agree with it, ostracize me, do whatever the fuck you want, distance me, whatever. Fine, we can move on from that subject. That part of it's closed. You're a moron if you fucking think that. You fucked over everyone in the community openly for money. Why would I think any different, dude? All this shit happened after you did the support video and you didn't realize that it was a bad decision. I don't see why I fucked over anyone on that. 
Okay, you didn't. Okay, maybe you didn't fuck over anybody, but you made a horrible decision, and the fact that you don't see it is just how am I not supposed to question? Because the thing is, is if you want me to be on a side, then have me be on your side and let me fucking do what I want to do. It's as simple as that. It's disturbingly hilarious that you use that as a justification for. <laughs> Supporting him. There's no logical tie there. There couldn't right. be no matter yeah, how many dimensions of logic matter, you use. Right, just listen, listen. I don't fucking care. I'm sick and tired of you, Wedge. I'm fucking okay. sick and tired. Because, no, shut the fuck up and listen to me. Alright, we're nope. done. Bye. No. We're done.